The Chiefs fall to the Chicago Bears 34-21 in the preseason finale last night as they end the preseason winless with an 0-3 record, and it is on to the regular season less than two weeks from now. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us here on this edition of the program. We'll go for our winners and losers from the final preseason game here in just a moment. Let's go over the numbers here for you as the Chiefs were playing from behind from the beginning of this game and never could really make this close. But at least for the Chiefs, you had several standouts that you can feel pretty good about, and it's going to make for some tough decisions on this 53-man roster that the Chiefs will decide here in the coming days. Roster cutdown day coming up on Tuesday. Ian Book, 6 of 9, 71 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. That number a bit deceiving, though. He didn't play nearly as good as what the numbers would indicate as he struggled with pressure all night and some of the decisions that he made. Carson Steele, the man of steel. We're going to have more on him in just a bit. Unbelievable night from him. Whether he's playing fullback or running back, the, the Chiefs got to find a way to get this guy in the 53-man roster. He was awesome again. Montreal Washington had a big catch uh, for 49 yards in the performance as well. Let's start with Carson Steele. And I got to tell you, you know, this – Chiefs running back room's got some question marks, right? We know Pacheco's solid and uh, a very good RB1. But beyond that, what the hell are they going to do? I'm going to talk about Clyde Edwards-Alaire here in just a bit. But his stock has plummeted, right, in recent weeks. And Carson Steele's look really good. We've seen Prince look good in camp. And now look at what Carson Steele did tonight. What he was able to bring to the table. I mean, this guy's supposed to be a fullback. And he runs with authority. He has breakaway speed. We don't talk about that, about fullbacks. And I know that the Chiefs offense uh, has changed at the fullback, H-back spot over the years, that uh, it's not what it used to be, how they operate in this system. But I got to think there's some way, some way, shape, or form to be able to use Carson Steele, whether as an H-back, fullback, another running back, there has got to be a way to keep him around, and I think the Chiefs are making it very tough. I would be disappointed if we sit here next week and he's caught. He's earned a spot, in my opinion. Who's a winner from the Chiefs-Bears game? Weigh in. Give me a name that comes to mind, and uh, chime in the comments section who that is from uh, the performance on Thursday night. For the best Chiefs coverage you won't find anywhere else, you got to subscribe to the Chiefs Report. We have over 56,000 subscribers in the channel, but we're not stopping there. We're trying to push towards 57 as we need just over 650 to reach that next milestone. For the latest happenings under your Kansas City Chiefs each and every day, we had breaking news during the middle of the game, folks. And you know what we did? We brought you a video during the middle of the game while we were live. We're just built different around here. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. Got to go with Chris O at the quarterback spot. It was a rough go for him uh, in uh, this performance. 9 of 16, two interceptions, 66 total passing yards, four carries, six yards on the ground. Um, get ready to learn UFL, buddy. I mean, it was a bad night. He's not even worth keeping on the practice squad, in my opinion. I know that he played decent uh, in the first preseason game against the Jags, but I, I've seen enough where – I would, I would cut bait, at least for now. I think that you, you can feel fine moving on. Cornell Powell, man, this is another guy that makes things interesting for Kansas City when it comes to these decisions in the wide receiver room. Really good last week. This week, another solid outing. Two catches, 16 yards, and a touchdown. He didn't hit my prize picks, unfortunately. But, hey, he got a touchdown grab, so good for him. But Cornell Powell, I don't know if he's going to make it next week. Probably still lean towards no. But if we get to a point where there's injuries, whatever it may be, keeping him around I think is going to bode very well for this Chiefs team. This won't be the last you've heard from Cornell Powell. I think that uh, he's done a pretty decent job, and there's a chance we could be talking about him down the line. Wanya Morris left the game in the first quarter with a knee injury, lost out on the starting left tackle job to the King, to Kingsley, uh, and just never was even close that Kingsley ran away with this job. It has been phenomenal. Wanya Morris, 
we all recall, had the marijuana arrest a couple months ago and just hasn't had a good camp, hasn't had a good preseason, and then to have the knee injury on top of it. I I, I just don't know what to say. Wanya Morris, it's, it's Jover for him. Like, he's at this point just hoping to be a backup left tackle, and he missed out on a golden opportunity for him to be a starting tackle in this league. It's – that's it. It's done. Unless something were to happen to Kingsley, Wanya Morris just totally missed out. He, You could argue of training camp in the preseason, the biggest loser of it all was Wanya Morris, realistically speaking. Who's a loser from the Chiefs-Bears game on Thursday night? Weigh in. Give me a name in the comments section. Let us know who you think that is. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time. Game Time, the place to go for – Uh, tickets to sporting events, concerts, theater productions, comedy shows, and more. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. you got to look for the super deals, folks. Those are deals that you can't miss on, whether it's tickets to Chiefs games, Royals games, Sporting Kansas City, the KC Current, Maybe you want to go down the road to see the Kansas Jayhawks. You get plenty of options, folks. Choose the event you want to go to. they got the prices listed. You choose your seat. See if you like that seat or not with those seat views feature. And then you're checking out Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, all major credit card providers. Download the Game Time app. Create an account. Use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Term supply. Again, create an account. Redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off. Download Game Time today. What time is it? Game time. Yes. Download today. All right, Kadarius Tony on the winners list. Shocking, isn't it? We're actually talking something positive about Kadarius Tony. Uh, I am an equal opportunity judge here, and we've been very critical about Kadarius Tony over the last couple of months, but we'll keep it honest when he does well. And Thursday night was a good night for Kadarius Tony. Two catches, 26 yards, made some good plays, did a good job with his route running, getting open in space. Will he make the roster? Was it enough? I don't know. But it was something the Chiefs have been waiting to see. Very good from Kadarius Tony. Losers list. This guy didn't play. I got to go Clyde Edwards-Alaire at the running back position. He was out with an illness. And while he was out, what have we seen? Prince has had a fantastic training camp. Steele's been great in the preseason. And Clyde just not being around, not being available, on top of everything he's been through. I mean, do you want to be here or not? I think it's a simple question. Does Clyde want to be a member of the Kansas City Chiefs? Is he all in? And what's he going to bring to the table? Because right now, he's gotten outplayed by those two young cats behind him this entire offseason. When we have this discussion on Tuesday, the 53-man roster – it sounded crazy a couple of weeks ago. I don't think it sounds crazy now. There, there's a decent chance that Clyde might not be on it. And I think tonight was a missed opportunity for him. I understand. Illnesses, whatever it may be. But, look, your job may have been on the line and you weren't out there. you got to learn to play through some things sometimes. Whatever it is, I thought it was a miss from on his part, a, uh, a lapse in judgment, if you will. Jaden Hicks. On the winner's list, one of the stars, one of the breakout performers of the preseason for Kansas City, the fourth-round rookie out of Washington State, uh, was just so good with the numbers that uh, he was able to put together, two tackles, just making plays all over the place. And uh, I saw some people in the the chat, they were comparing him to LeJarrius Sneed. I don't know about LeJarrius Sneed, but I think that he's proven that he deserves significant playing time immediately. And you got some flexibility. Maybe you, you're able to run three safety looks, whatever it may be. Watch out for more Jaden Hicks. Kelvin Joseph, what the hell was he doing on that opening drive? Two holding penalties? We hardly ever see defensive holding called. And he got two in the opening drive. Now, he did get better as the game went along. But this is a guy that's trying to compete for playing time with a corner room that's got some question marks. And it was a head scratcher. Like, Kelvin Joseph, you're not a rookie. You've been here for how many years now, and you're playing like a rookie? Like, that that didn't make any sense. Confidence level in the Chiefs right now. I don't care that they went winless in the preseason. This is still the team to beat. Super Bowl still runs through Kansas City, folks. Give me a 9.5 
my confidence level. Give me your confidence level in the comment section below. All right, two more for you before we wrap up here. Justin Ross, good night for him. Uh, Justin Ross makes our winner's list as he finished with two catches for 16 yards, did a good job getting open, making plays. Um, and we said it earlier in the week that he had the one catch in the game against the Jags, one of the best plays of the preseason. But what else was he going to do? Well, this showed a little bit more, but it might not be enough. And then McCall Hardman had a nice kick return, 40-plus yards, four targets, one catch. Is his special team's uh, abilities enough to keep him on the roster? I don't know. I don't know. I want a little more out of McCall Hardman. I know that he made a great play in that Super Bowl, but it's – It's a tough call, and we'll see what they do. A lot of unknown heading into next week. Subscribe now to the channel. We're going to be all over it as they reveal the 53-man roster. Stay tuned for it. I'm Tyler Jones. We'll see you next time here at the Chiefs Report.